doing tonight's dinner and we have got some corn mince and I've kind of made it up as I went along. So we've got corn mince, there's onion, pepper, mushrooms, lots and lots of chilli flakes. We've also got two bags of, it's like a frozen cauliflower mix but I think it was broccoli, spinach and... A mix of broccoli, curly kale, spinach, courgette and seaweed. Here we go. So that's what's in this. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we put two frozen bags of that in. Mushrooms, onions, peppers, a tin of tomatoes, and then I put all the spices. So we've got cumin, we've got chilli, we've got salt and pepper, we've got smoked smoked paprika, and uh, Worcester sauce, and then a cup of chicken stock cubes. And we're literally just gonna have it like this. We're not gonna serve it with anything. We're just gonna pop it in some bowls. And because it's got so much chilli in, I'm also gonna add a load of like natural yogurt on top. So here it is all plated up and I've just put some fat free yogurt on top and then added some more chilli flakes and this is what we've got for our dinner tonight. So I'm just starting tonight's dinner and I'm making campfire stew which I have already got in one of my slow cooker recipe videos. I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested in trying it the proper way. Um, I haven't got all the ingredients I need so I'm just winging it again. So I've got some gammon that I had in the freezer. This was just from a joint we had um, about a week ago or a couple of weeks ago. So I just got that out. I've got a massive orange pepper and half a red pepper. I'm gonna use a tin of tomatoes, two tins of beans. I'm also gonna add butter beans and I'm supposed to put 500 grams of potatoes but we haven't got any and I'm not going out just to get them. So I found these at the back of my cupboard, these potatoes in water which I haven't used for like years, but I'm gonna pop those in. I mean, they are still in date, it says May 23, but I'm gonna put those in instead. I've got some smoked paprika, tomato puree. Um, I need a beef stock pot, but I'm gonna use a chicken stock cube. And then I also need some chili powder as well. And I'm just gonna throw it all in basically and switch the slow cooker on. There's two onions in there that I've chopped and I'm gonna pop it on low. Like I said, I have got a proper recipe if you wanna follow it, but this is basically the ingredients that I use and I just throw it all in. The gammon's already cooked, so I'm just gonna put it on low for four or five hours because everything else is also already cooked. All right, so I've just put everything together in the slow cooker. I've added my gammon. There's nothing actually raw in here, so I'm just gonna pop it on for about four hours till it's all cooked through. So here's our campfire stew out of the slow cooker with my tinned potatoes. It does smell really nice. I also added some Worcester sauce into it because I forgot that and a teaspoon of chilli powder. Just serving it with some part baked French bread in these little basket things. Just got didn't know where else to put them. And that is what is for our dinner tonight. So I'm just prepping tonight's dinner and I've just made up like a little, kind of like a salsa, I don't know, salad-y thing just to go on top of some salmon. So in here I've got a diced up red pepper, apologies for the noise, it's Hobbs with his bone. So I've got diced up red pepper, um, diced onion, cucumber and some of these really, really hot jalapeno peppers. Uh, we added loads of these to our dinner last night and they were really spicy. I've also poured some of the juice in which is just vinegar I believe. Loads of lime juice, some garlic granules and salt and pepper and um, we're not eating till a bit later on but I'm just going to put this, put some cling film over it and pop it in the fridge so it kind of all marinades in the nice flavours and then I think we're going to serve our salmon with roasted veg and I'm not sure if to do jackets or maybe some butternut squash or something else but this is going to go like on top of the salmon once it's cooked. I've also just added some coriander, this is chopped frozen coriander and yeah so I just added that in, I was going to say and it's from the freezer but it would be if it's frozen. So I'm just going to let that sit together for a couple of hours till we're ready and then pop it on the salmon. So I've just prepped my veg as well, we are going to add some mushrooms in later, like halfway through the cooking time because they don't take as long. So we've got some cherry, toma got some cherry tomatoes there, uh, red pepper, onion, carrots and I've just sprinkled some garlic granules over them some salt and sprayed them with oil and I'm also going to add what else am I going to add oh yeah just mushrooms and I think and anything else we can come across so we're going to have these roasted the salmon roasted and then the salsa on the top so here we are all plated up so we've got our roasted vegetables we've got our salmon and our salsa on the top and this is what we're having for dinner tonight so for dinner tonight we have got 
a kind of a roast, like a mini roast. So we've got some chicken breasts that needed juicing up. And there wasn't quite enough, so I've done a couple of sausages as well. Some garden peas, roast potatoes and some gravy. So that's what we've got for our dinner tonight. So I'm just starting tonight's dinner and we are going to have some jalapeno popper chicken and some Cajun spiced wedges. So basically I've peeled and chopped some potatoes, I haven't parboiled them. I've put them on a pizza tray, I always use one of these ones with the holes in because it just makes things so much crispier. I've sprayed them with buttery fry light, I've sprinkled this Cajun seasoning all over them, I think I got this in B&M. And then I'm just going to pop them in the oven and for probably about 40 minutes on 200 degrees, about halfway through I'm going to flip them over, add some more fry light and add some more seasoning. Right, so to go on top of our chicken breast, I'm going to use about 150 grams of fat-free Greek style yogurt. This is just the Tesco one. And then to that I'm going to add roughly a teaspoon of garlic granules, some black pepper, some salt, and some green jalapeno chilies. I'm just using the jarred ones. These are the ones you can get in Tesco. They're about a pound a jar. And I'm just gonna chuck as many as you like in there. It's doing two of us, so we quite like our chili. So I put probably, I don't know, about 10 in there. I'm just gonna give that a good mix together. And into that, I'm also going to grate some cheese. We're using the Eat Lean at the moment. So I'm probably going to put about 100 grams of that. Or if I was using reduced fat cheddar, I'd use around 80 grams. I'm going to mix it in here. Right, so I've got two chicken breasts in my dish. And what I've done is just slice them in half. It's kind of butterflied them. And what I'm going to do is season both sides with some garlic granules and salt and pepper. So now they've got salt and pepper on both sides, what I'm going to do is get my mixture that I've made out of yogurt and cheese and jalapenos and I'm just going to spoon half over each chicken breast. And then this is going to go in the oven on 200 degrees for around 25 to 30 minutes just until the chicken is cooked and the cheese has got a nice and um, golden brown. I'm also going to add a tiny bit more cheddar on the top and a few more chilies. Tiny little bit of cheddar left, which I'm just going to grate over the top as well. And this is the Eat Lean cheese, so it's like 70% less uh, fat, I think, or 70 or 90. Yeah, it's 90% less fat than normal cheddar. It's okay on dishes like this because it goes really stringy, a bit like mozzarella. But if you were going to eat it, like cheese and crackers, then it's not something I would recommend. It's definitely like a cooking cheese. But I've topped that with the jalapenos and the cheddar. And now what I'm going to do is pop that in the oven until the chicken is cooked and the top's nice and golden brown. So like I said, 25 to 30 minutes. I've also got my chips in as well with their Cajun seasoning and we're going to serve it with a little bit of salad. So here we are out of the oven, I'm just about to pop it on our plates with our wedges and we've also got some lettuce and onion to go with it. So we've got our jalapeno popper chicken breast, our Cajun wedges and some lettuce and onion and it looks really really good, we've never tried this before so I'm looking forward to tasting it. I'll pop up on the screen what we think and whether we would make it again but it definitely looks really nice, it almost looks a bit like a kind of pizza like pizza chicken maybe, I don't know. I'm looking forward to trying it. This is what I've got for dinner tonight. So for tonight's dinner, we had some homemade meatballs and I just used 5% fat beef mince with some mixed herbs. I also put some garlic granules in there and some of this Mushroom and Company multi-purpose umami seasoning. This is from Trader Joe's. I was kindly sent it over by one of my lovely subscribers. And in here, you've got things like salt, onions, mustard seed, mushroom powder, button mushroom powder, all the mushroomy stuff. So I put all that into a bowl and then I'm just going to add my mince. I also added some salt and pepper and I'm just going to roll up my meatballs. 
So once my meatballs were rolled, I just fried them off lightly in a pan. I didn't cook them all the way through because I wanted to continue cooking them in my sauce. Now to make my sauce, I use my basic bolognese recipe. There is a video up on this channel, so I'll leave that link down below. But it's basically garlic, onions, tomatoes. It's got Worcester sauce, stock cubes, red wine stock pot, mixed herbs, all that kind of thing. Tomato puree and a little bit of sugar um, just to take the acidity away from the tomatoes. And then once my meatballs were slightly browned, I popped them into the sauce and let them continue cooking. That way you get a really nice soft inside and a nice browned edge. We just served ours in the traditional way with lots of nice spaghetti. And then we added some grated cheese to whoever wanted it. So this isn't actually a dinner, it's lunch, but I just wanted to pop it in. All I've done is used a packet of the Tesco Value noodles. Um, they're about 14p or something ridiculous and I've just boiled those and I've added in a handful of frozen peas some fried mushrooms that I've just done in some spray oil I've also added some sliced like sandwich chicken loads of chilli flakes and a teaspoon of tikka curry powder along with a sachet that comes with a noodle I just think it's a really nice sort of Chinese kind of style noodle dinner and there's quite a lot of broth at the bottom as well and I just thought I'd share with you because it's a nice sort of healthy quick lunch